my name is Megan and today I have you in my kitchen. I'm going to show you how I am doing open shelving. If you're subscribed to me here on YouTube or if you follow me on social media, then you know that I've been working really hard on my kitchen. I'm in the final stages now. I took out some cabinets and I'm replacing them with open shelving. I think that the way that I'm doing it right now is the easiest and quickest. I did not want to build something really intricate. I wanted kind of an easy way out, but I wanted something that would not show any brackets. It would look like true open shelving. So what I came across on Amazon were these metal posts. They're very easy to use, very simple. I'm going to show you how I use them to hang my shelves. What you'll need for this is a big piece of wood. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to show you guys this is what I'm using for my shelving. This is before I've drilled any holes in it. It is a 2x10. I cut it off of a 2x10x12. By by now if you don't have a miter saw or a saw at home, you can usually ask Home Depot to make cuts for you. Some people have had luck with it. They don't always do things like that for you, but if you tell them that you're trying to fit in your car, they usually work with you. So I would just decide what cuts you need before you go to Home Depot and let them know and they can cut it down for you. Hopefully, if not, you're going to need a saw or a miter saw in order to make your cuts for your shelves. You'll also need a drill, a half inch drill bit, and I needed a drill bit extension because these posts are six inches long and my drill bit was only four inches long. I needed a little extension there. I know a lot of people are gonna be wondering how much weight these shelves can hold. The posts that I ordered from Amazon, and I'll have these linked below, state that they hold 150 pounds, so you have to keep the weight of the wood in mind as well. But I have some shelves in the kitchen that I've been using this week already that have plates on them and cups and plenty of heavy things, and they feel extremely stable. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I've already made my cuts for my shelves, and like I said before, I'm using a two by 10, and I cut mine to be 29 inches long. I've already got two shelves that I've hung here, and I'm hanging a third above this one. I'm gonna use my stud finder to make sure that I know where my stud is. My stud that is right there. It is the only stud in this wall. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to use some anchors to anchor the other post in, and I'll show you how that works in just a second. And I also will say that it's just as stable with only one stud being attached to these shelves. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill holes for my post in my shelf. I'm gonna do one 12 inches in, and then I'm gonna do the other one about eight inches in, just because like I said, there's no stud on this side of the wall, so it has to use drywall anchors to be held in. So I'm measuring 12 inches on the back of my board where my stud is and drilling my first hole. I've gone as far as I can with my half inch drill bit and now I need to use my extension to go about two inches deeper. Now I'm gonna drill my other hole and I'm doing it about eight inches from the other edge. This hole is going to support a post that's going to be supported by drywall anchors, but if you have another stud in your wall, you wanna make sure that your other hole lines up with your other stud. I want my shelf to be 10 inches above my previous shelf. And I'm gonna use a little bit of painter's tape to mark that. I also like to use the painter's tape because when I drill into the wall, it, it kind of gives you a little grip so your drill bit doesn't slip. So then I like to put my bracket right up where the stud is and I mark where I want to drill. Now because the studs are only but so wide, it does help if you drill each hole kind of diagonal and not straight in. So now I know where I want my holes. And I'm using an eighth of an inch drill bit, by the way. And I'm gonna remove my tape and then I'm gonna use these extra long screws that this post came with. Okay, so from here, I'm not gonna attach both posts to the wall yet. I'm gonna grab my shelf with my two holes in it. This one is for this post. This one is for the post I haven't drilled yet. I'm gonna slide this in, and then I'm gonna attach this. So now what I wanna do is make sure it's level. And this level actually came with the posts. So if you don't have a level, <laughs> It comes with one. And once I get it level, I'm gonna mark where that other post needs to go. You can see I've just made a little mark around where this post needs to go. And then I can take the bracket out of the shelf and line it back up. And now I know where my holes need to go. This time, because I'm using drywall anchors, I am using a 3 16 of an inch bit. With these, they look like this. You'd simply hammer them into the hole and then you go behind it and you screw your post in and this actually opens up behind the wall so that it anchors in. Okay, now that I've got them both in 
and I'm just gonna double check that it's nice and level and it is now you can see it from up here a little bit of that bracket on that second one and if that bothers you what you can do is you can just paint that the same color as your wall if you have that paint the last step is to sand and finish the wood and I saved this step for last in case that when you're drilling into your wood you make a mistake you won't have wasted your piece of wood having sanded and finished it already so I'm going through the numbers of the sandpaper I start with 80 I work to 120 and then I finish with 220 to finish I'm using this poly water-based crystal clear satin I use this stuff all the time it's awesome and I usually do at least two coats And that's it guys, now I have nice open shelving in my kitchen. Make sure you stay tuned, I have a video coming out all about my kitchen makeover. It's budget friendly and it's amazing to me. So I'm really excited to reveal that as soon as it's done and I'll see you guys next time.